offering my loving and reverential pranams at the lotus feet of our Divine Mother, Bhagwan Sri Sakti Sai Baba. Om Sri Sai Ram, dearest embodiments of love. In commemoration of Women's Month and as part of a collaborative initiative between the ladies and young adults' wings of South Africa, we lovingly offer the second episode of the Women Empowerment Series. In conversation with me today, we have two dynamic women of the organization, Sister Prema Murugan and Sister Judy Gowden, who currently serve as the National Women's Coordinator of the Sri Sakya Sai Global Council of South Africa. Om Sri Sai Ram, Sister Prema and Sister Judy. Om Sri Sai Ram, Sri Sai Ram. So, welcome to our Women Empowerment Series. Um, so, the first question is to you, Sister um, Judy. How do you manage being a working mother in the Sai organization? Om Sri Sai Ram, thank you for giving us this opportunity to speak. Um, I take pride in everything that I do, and I believe work is worship. And for me to be a working woman, you have to have a balance of work and home responsibilities. I offer everything to Swami, and uh, I believe by doing this, I'm even amazed, and He gives me the strength. I'm even amazed at what I'm capable of doing. Wow, that's amazing. And Swami says that the mother is the first teacher and as compared to many teachers, the teachings of women teachers as better stimulated by students because the latter teach from the heart of love. So that's quite inspiring, that's Sister good. Judy. Thank you so much. Um, Auntie Prema, um, how do you as a leader follow a Dharma life? Oh, sir, um, to be a leader, you have to have confidence, self-confidence. And if you believe in Swami, that's easy to attain. Uh, it's still in the five human values that Swami teaches us. That is truth, right conduct, peace, love, and non-violence. If we can instill those and live our lives to that, then it falls into place. And remembering that being the leader, you have to be an example. So, going like that is what Swami would want us to do. Sairam. Sairam, that's so lovely. And Swami always wants us to be exemplary leaders. And what better way to incorporate the five human values in our day to day lives? Absolutely. Um, and to Judy, um, what is your advice uh, to other young women in the Sai organization that aspire to be? Our future leaders in our organization. For me, there's nothing more satisfying than doing Swami's work. By helping others and doing Seva, it helps one transform oneself. I'm talking from experience. And um, my advice, um, in fact, sometimes I'm even amazed at what I can accomplish. There's, if I go back 10 years, I, would, I was so hesitant to even talk and look at me today. I mean, I'm not saying I'm doing a fantastic job, but I'm very nervous to come out and speak. And Swami helps you gain that confidence. And uh, for any young, aspiring young uh, uh, ladies, I would tell them, don't be afraid. Take on the post. You just have to say yes and be dedicated. And Swami does the rest. That's so true, Sister Judy. You know, Swami says when you take one step towards Him, He takes a thousand towards you. Yes. And I think um, the aspect that you spoke about on self confidence um, and being in this organization um, it provides you with many tools where you can grow uh, as women and take that into the workforce as well. Yes. So, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Auntie Prema, how do you remain connected to Swami? I know you have many roles as a mother um, in your company, within the organization. Uh, sometimes it can be very demanding. So how do you remain connected with Swami? Uh, you know, sometimes we do have challenges. Uh, we need to cross these hurdles. But if your focus is Swami, 
it carries you over every year that you come to. Uh, at home, I have pictures of Swami all over. And this is my constant reminder of Him. Just remembering Him all the time. In everything you do, offer it to Him first. And you are connected to Him. He is your very conscience. He is within you. So don't even think of looking outside or you know wanting Swami elsewhere. He is within you. So you are connected to Him every second, every minute of the day. So this is what I keep, remembering Him, remembering His name, and offering everything to Him. This keeps me connected with Swami. So. That is so beautiful. And I think Swami is being Jella and each and every one of us. Yes, absolutely. That's lovely. Uh, Sister Judy, I know you love spending time in the kitchen and you love cooking those yummy meals for your family. What budget do you usually sing whilst prepping all these lovely meals? I'm not really a budget person. Uh, I would say man is a budget, but uh, the Gayatri Mantra is, is my mantra. I, I'm chanting it all the time. It helps calm me. And I feel while chanting this and preparing your meals, it, it, it sends out a good vibration to the food. And uh, even even in my workplace, I'm always doing chanting the Gayatri Mantra. I'm driving. I do a lot of driving for my work. And I go into rural areas. And chanting that just keeps me sane and keeps me out of danger. That's my protection. Yes, that's very true. Thank you so much because the Gaiti Mantra is one of the most powerful mantras that we as women can chant in our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you, Sister Judy. Um, Auntie Prima, what is your cuppa to get your day going? Um, I start my day with the morning prayer, just as I get out of bed. Thank the blessings of my mother. See and make sure that I do my personal sadhanas. Uh, this resonates the positive vibrations in you, and you need to resonate that. So, automatically, when you have a good start, your whole day is like full, full of everything that you do, setting a positive uh, initiative in the morning, takes you through the day. Don't ever go with any negative thoughts, always be positive no matter what the situation is. If Swami is assured as His presence within us, what do we afraid? Why fear? Mm. He's with us all the time. Mm. So we don't need to fear of anything. Spend the day in love and end the day in love. That so is lovely. Thank you, Auntie Prima. How blissful to start the morning with Swami and always have Him in your thoughts yes. throughout the day. Um, it also said that behind every successful a woman is a man, but we know that there's many women as role models um, that we can look up to. And just on your side, who would be your role model and who would you look up to? Uh, my role model was my mother. And I think she was, uh, well, she was very hardworking, very spiritually minded, set me on the, on the spiritual footing from a very early age and uh, inspired me with human values like forgiveness, self-sacrifice, compassion, empathy, love. Uh, so that is like something that I uh, instilled from her. And also, you know, uh, what comes out very clearly is what she always said. Do not say you don't have Share what little you have, and that will take you a long way. But you will not run out of anything. So, you know, those are values that came across and still is in slow. And also, Mother Ishwaram, that selfless life that she had, it was not about herself, it was always for the upliftment of society. And Swami blessed her with all the wishes that she asked for. So I also look up to her. So thank you, uh, Auntie Prima. And our mothers just um, give off that selfless love. So what better role models 
to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sister Judy, um, we do have gender-based violence that's prominent um, in South Africa. So what is your intake on gender-based violence and how can everyone play a role in fighting gender-based violence pandemic in South Africa uh, collectively, be it women, men and young adults, for example? Sadly, uh, gender-based violence is a, very, it's, it's a reality and I think it's of utmost importance for us to educate um, children, adults, the youth, that violence or abuse of any nature is unacceptable. And, um, you know, you often find you'll be sitting, we will be at Bajan and you'll be sitting right next to somebody, but they are scared to speak out. I believe now we've got this platform as the Ladies Forum. We need to create a platform where we can make them feel comfortable, be it men, youth, ladies. They, they need to be comfortable to come out, come forward to seek assistance. And we can assist in getting a psychologist, a social workers to come to our centers and regions and speak out. Because uh, you know, you, you'll find that uh, they would not like to speak to a friend. They'd rather speak to an outsider. And uh, if we, the other thing is, if we educate our ladies, help them to be independent. So if they are in a situation like this, they can get out there and stand on their own two feet. We feel, we find that uh, a lot of ladies will not want to leave the home environment because they are scared, they're not financially independent. So if we equip our women with these skills, they will gain the confidence to go out there and be independent and conquer this gender-based violence. Thank you, Sister Judy. That's absolutely wonderful to hear. And especially with our organization, we have the various new programs, and I think the Ladies Forum is doing a phenomenal job in empowering other women, uh, especially uh, within gender-based violence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Sister Prema and uh, Sister Judy, thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure um, chatting with you uh, this morning and it was really inspiring and I'm sure that all our uh, viewers that are watching uh, today really do find it uh, motivating as well. So thank you so much. Swami's infinite blessings to you, Sister Prema and um, Sister Judy. And we also give our gratitude to our Divine Mother, Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba, for giving us the opportunity to be inspired by his loving Mahila Forum, Jai Sri Sai Ram.